Hi hey everyone! So today we have this Optisonic 3400 from Krone. And today we are going to discuss how to navigate the menu for this UFC 400. So basically, this is an Optisonic 3400 which is for liquid application. This is the UFC 400. And the sensor or the, the flow tube is what you call the Optisonic 3000. So that's why it's Optisonic 3400C. It's a compact version. And today we are going to show you how to basically navigate the menu without opening this cover. So this cover stays, you know, this is for protection. And you have this four buttons which you can basically use. And let's see, you have this um, the right key, enter key, down, and up key. So right now, initially what you can see is the first page. You have four pages on the main screen. So basically the first page, it's the first page where you can see the, if there's an alarm, you can see this triangle. If something needs to be done with the errors, you have the tag, you have the positive. If, you, if it's on the positive or a negative flow rate, you can see a negative. You have your flow you have your unit and this is basically a scale this can be modified so for example um, if your flow is from 0 to 3600 barrels per day your flow rate right now is 1800 barrels per day you will see that the bar graph will go until 50 so basically that's how you interpret this screen if you press the up key you can see the second page which basically uh, shows the VOS, velocity of sound, the gain, or the totalizer. Again, these parameters can be configured as per your requirement. We normally, we like putting the VOS so that we know that we're seeing the correct medium in the flow tube because that's how you basically interpret if it's like a crude oil, it's water, the velocity of sound changes. So let's see, third page, you can see the error codes. So you can see here, the error code is IO connection because nothing is connected in the terminals. Empty pipe because it's empty. Power failure because it, you know it. when you power on and off the device, you always have this error, which you know, it's just an information. Okay, now this is the last page, which is just like a graph on how the flow is, is doing. So again, you can use also the down key. You can see here again, first page, flow graph, the error codes, and the agnostic page. So that's how you play with it. And um, I'll teach you how to navigate with, the, with this. So first, put your finger out. It says keep your finger there and then you just release it. Then you can see here quick setup, test, setup, service. Service is for service engineers. So you cannot basically just go in there because there is a password and we don't normally share it. So let's see what we you can get from quick setup from quick setup you can change the language you can change the tag you can do a reset for for the errors you have the totalizer totalizer 2 you can change those you have your analog output so basically you can change the outputs for your 4 to 20 you can you can set it as mass flow rate, volume flow rate. You have the options in this menu. I'll do that on a separate video. So you can change the unit, the range, the low flow cutoff, the time constant, which is also the damping constant. You can as well look at the digital output. Like for example, you're using the pulses for total flow, totalizer. So you can change it here. Okay. That's the GDCIR interface because we have the device where you can put the GDC here and it, you can basically communicate using packware. Then you have this test menu. 
You have the simulation, actual values, information, the setup, which is more detailed. You have your process input. You can see here all the data. The IOs, hardware settings, IO totalizer, heart, the device. So as you can see, no, if I want to enter a menu, I just press or I use the first key, which is the right key. And for example, I want to enter the measuring page one, which you can see the flow rate. I press the first key and then navigate using the up and down key. And if I want to escape, for example, I just press the second key, which is the enter key. And that's it. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to change some of the parameters. So stay tuned.